In this video, I'll show you how to paste into visible cells only, specifically when you're working across different workbooks. This tutorial is inspired by a question from a viewer on one of my previous videos on this topic, where I explained how to paste into visible cells only when you have hidden rows. Now, that tutorial was about how to perform the task in one workbook only. And in this video, I'm going to tackle exactly how to handle this when you're pasting into a separate workbook. So let's dive into how you can do this effectively. So as you can see on my screen, I have two workbooks open. The workbook on the left hand side is our source workbook and the workbook on the right hand side is the target workbook. And I have a data set in each workbook. On the workbook on the left, I have the letters A through H and on the workbook on the right, I have the numbers one through eight. Now I want to be able to copy and paste from the source workbook into the destination workbook and only paste into the visible cells, leaving the hidden cells completely intact. And here's an example of what I want to do. Let's say I hide a number of rows in my target workbook. So I'll go ahead and just hide a few random rows, say these rows. Now I want to be able to copy from the source workbook into this workbook and only paste into the visible cells, leaving the hidden cells completely intact. Now let's try doing that the usual way and see what happens. So I'll just click on copy and then I'll select the destination range and I'll again right click and click on paste. So as you can see, the first two values and the last two values are correct. So A, B and G and H, that's what we want. However, as explained earlier, we want the hidden cells to remain intact. Now let's see whether or not they remain intact. So I'm going to go ahead and unhide this range as so. As you can see, the hidden cells were also affected by this copy and pasting. In other words, the copy and pasting not only pasted into the visible cells, but also pasted into the hidden cells. And that's not what we want. So how to paste into visible cells? And I'm going to explain that in a few very simple steps. That said, I'm going to go ahead and paste the original target values here. And I'm going to go ahead and hide those rows, that is these four random rows, in order to demonstrate how this can be done. So here are the steps for pasting into visible cells only when you're working across multiple workbooks. The first step is to select the source range, which is in this case, it's the A through H range. Once I select it, the next step is to copy it. So you can either click on control C or right click and select copy. The next step is to select the destination range, which in this case is a different workbook altogether. So we have to select the destination range in the target workbook, which in this case is this range, which contains some hidden cells. The next step is to click on control G on your keyboard. This page pops up and on this page, we have to click on special. And then we have to select visible cells only. That's why I'm going to select this radio button over here. And after doing that, I'll click on OK. The next step is to click on the equal sign. Then we have to select the first cell in our source range that is in our source workbook. In this case, it's this cell over here, cell C2 in my case. You can see in the formula bar over here, this cell appears. Now, the thing about this is this cell is currently reference locked. And I've noticed that this is the default when you perform this procedure. It comes uh, reference locked and we don't want that. So we're going to remove the reference lock by removing the dollar sign. So you have to go ahead and remove the dollar signs as so because we don't want it to be reference locked. The next step is to click on control enter. So this is very important. You don't want to just click on enter, but you have to click on control enter for this to work correctly. And there we go. So as you can see, the first two values and last two values have been pasted correctly. So A and B have replaced one and two and G and H have replaced seven and eight. So these four values are correct. Now let's see what happened to our hidden cells. So we wanted hidden cells to remain intact and remain the numbers that they were. That is the numbers three to six. Let's see if the hidden cells have remained intact or not. So I'm going to unhide this range and there we go. 
the hidden cells have remained intact and that's exactly how we wanted it to be. The cells that are visible were affected by the copy and pasting. However, the hidden cells are completely intact and remained exactly what they were before we did the copy and pasting. And that's how this is done using these very simple steps. So again, I'm going to quickly go through them again. We're going to copy the source range, click on control G, select visible cells only, click on the equal sign, select the source start, remove the dollar signs, and then click on control enter. So by performing these very simple steps, you can copy and paste into visible cells only when you're pasting into a different workbook. Now, as you can see right now, this destination workbook is referencing the source workbook. Now, as a last optional step, you can also go ahead and copy this range and paste it as values if you don't want it to be linked to the source workbook. Now, if you want it to be linked to the source workbook, you can remain it as is. But if you think you're going to be perhaps deleting the source workbook at some point and you don't want this destination workbook to get corrupted and you don't want these references to be locked, you can go and copy and paste this as values. And doing so is very simple. You just select your destination range as so, click on copy and right click and paste as values. And there we go. The copy and pasting is complete and there's no reference uh, to the source workbook. So if you change something in the source workbook, it's not gonna be changed in the destination workbook. And also if you delete or change the directory of the source workbook, this destination workbook and what we just copy and pasted will not be affected by that. And that's the ideal thing to do, but again, that's an optional step. And that's how you can easily and conveniently copy and paste into visible cells only when you're pasting into a, another workbook altogether. And that's how it's done. I would like to thank our commenter for leaving a comment and making this video suggestion. Keep the comments coming as they inspire new video topics such as this one. I hope you found this video useful and got some value out of it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future videos. See you soon.